All right, let's start rehousing these uh, Hetrotheli villicellas. I'm gonna move two of them into these and redo this one and put the larger one in there. I have one that's a really good eater and two that are very bad eaters and they're just growing really slow in a communal. And I decided I wanna take them apart and put them in single enclosures anyway. All right, so let's start poking around in there, I guess. Okay. Let's see who wants to move first. I'll try to see if I can get this big one out of here. This is the one I'm worried about. I can actually get a good bite from. The other ones are pretty small. striking. I don't know if you can see that. That's oh, all right. Come on. He's not gonna wanna. It's not gonna wanna leave its web. Him to come up and out. <laughs> it's like nope. Maybe a smaller container. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna lid this one here because this one's gonna go back into this enclosure. Oh, yeah, these guys can't climb plastic. That's right. There we go. So there's our first one. It's like an inch and a half. It's a good size. Hetrotheli villicella. All right. Oh, that one's there. Now I'm gonna try to get out one of the smaller ones to put in these enclosures. I'm not so worried about these ones being bitey, but more flighty. I didn't mean to rhyme all that. Just ended up that way. I have no idea where they're at. There's so many molts in here. Kona! Got my dog in the other room scratching at the door. Kona, Kona! What's up, good boy? Just sit over there on the bed. Alright, there we go. Get back into this.
I don't even see them yet. I've just seen them earlier, so I know they're there. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone by accident. Let's see if they've abandoned ship yet. Nope. Could probably do this in a bigger container. So I'm just poking around, waiting until I see some movement, and then I'll work on getting one cornered, but I see nothing. This has got a lot of like live food in it that's never been eaten yet. Oh, here we go, here's one. Nope, that's a, oh it is one, okay. It's hiding in the water dish. What's up, little guy? So there we go. Let's get it in there. There we go. Got one. So you can see how small this one is compared to the other. Let's try to take some closer shots. All right, let's locate number three here. They're not very good at climbing plastic and walls and stuff, so Let's see if we can get it to fall in. Oh shoot. <laughs> that didn't work. These guys are super fast. Alright, let's take this out of there. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Except for little roaches and stuff. Look at this, we got a, a mealworm that's pupated out about to become a beetle. Let's see, that's why I don't like feeding mealworms. They go straight down to the substrate and you don't see them. Let's try to get a macro shot of this guy. I got a couple decent shots of the Villa Sala. Not the greatest, but it'll work. All right, let's get number three in its home. Oh, I got some extra lighting causing some ruckus. All right, let's get number three out here. Whoa. Okay, quick little one. <laughs> 
let's see if I can actually get some more shots here. No, all right, well that's good. All right, so number three is housed in its dram container. Or whatever you wanna call it. Now I'm gonna go clean this out and then move the big one into here. I'll be back in uh, five minutes. All right, I'm back and I have the this one all set up. I'll just put a water dish in there. That will be covered in like a week and I won't be able to use it. You pretty much dismissed these guys because how webbing, how much webbing they put in. This guy's webbing this container. Oh my god. Oh yeah, these guys. It's been maybe ten minutes since I put them in. I won't be able to show you probably with the camera, especially if I don't put you in the camera. But uh, there's webbing all the way. All the way. There's webbing in there already. That's what I was trying to say. But you all can't see it really. All right, so I'm gonna do the the method that's gonna hopefully be foolproof. Foolproof. I have no holes in this container. <laughs> Didn't quite think this all the way through. That's all right though. This guy was attacking the paintbrush when I was trying to get it out. There we go. All right, we're in there. Yeah, it already did put webbing in. These guys are crazy with the webbing. Macro shot or two. Here's my Ethelic Species Red molting. <laughs> 